Hi, good morning. So another maintenance issue has popped up that I thought I'd share. It's a fairly minor one, but uh, it can be serious depending on how bad it is. Uh, on the last video I was talking about, I discovered a small leak from the uh, fuel drain valve on the uh, underneath the left wing. So I burned out as much fuel as I could out of it, but there's still too much to uh, to drain out. So I'm going to attempt a very quick repair. I've seen it done. I've never actually done it myself, but the uh, the symptom here is the uh, underwing fuel drain valve has uh, just a little seep. And over time, of course, you don't want to lose all of your fuel. So, so the operation that I have witnessed, that is the uh, probably the best way to do it, is to loosen this very quickly take it out very quickly replace it uh, i do keep a spare because i have had to do this repair on a previous airplane so um, i do have the uh, the spare part um, it's oh, i don't know 15 20 dollars maybe i don't think it was quite that much but the uh, the culprit here is the uh, the little the little black o-ring at the top of the uh, the valve those deteriorate over time or there's gunk preventing the um, the o-ring from seating completely in place I don't know how visible this is but um, so these o-rings are replaceable I actually have quite a few of those as well in my my little stack of spare parts these are very inexpensive 25 30 cents each or something like that but it does help to uh, to have a spare on hand so that um, you don't take out the valve that's there and repair it while fuel is pouring all over the place. Alternatively, of course, you can just drain all the fuel out, but again, that's not, uh, not this case at least. So I'm going to uh, pull this out. It should only take 30 seconds, hopefully, and hopefully not a big mess, but I do have a a bucket here to catch any fuel that does uh, drop out hopefully not a great deal and a tip that was uh, told to me by the last mechanic that I saw doing it is to tie an old towel around your wrist so that when you're pulling this down the fuel will run out onto your hands down your arms so an old towel will uh, will catch any fuel so I'll set up a tripod and uh, off I go okay so, rubber gloves on, towel tied around the wrist, half inch wrench, and the spare. So, again, just want to start loosening this to the point where it's going to turn freely. and then get ready to make a very quick changeover. And here we go. That wasn't too, too bad. Maybe an ounce of uh, fuel came out so as we can see that uh, o-ring is uh, flattened out pretty good and there is a little bit of gunk around the uh, the o-ring itself so new part in place I'm going to tighten that up now with the uh, the wrench and I'll take this home and uh, pull that uh, o-ring off and now this becomes my spare oh, actually I can see uh, there's a fair amount of gunk underneath there. The O-ring may actually not be bad. It, uh, it may just need to be cleaned, but for uh, 25 or 35 cents or whatever it was for uh, for the new uh, O-ring, we won't think about that. That 
it's nice and snug and we should be good to go so again very short video just to uh, to show how to do this it's not anything to panic about i i have seen it leak a whole lot worse than what this one was doing um but again for for just a couple of bucks or just a couple of cents to to either replace the uh, the o-ring take it off clean it up but for uh for something like this for something that that can uh, you know is going to give out at some point it's just as well to carry a spare and uh, avoid any uh, any really bad fuel leaks again. I mean, there's there's a few little spots of fuel here. And like I said, I only lost about uh, maybe an ounce, not even not even an ounce. And that's it. The joys of owning. Take care.